Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. <laughs> Been a while, hasn't it? I can tell you for sure, as I'm sure you may have guessed, I have filmed a shit ton over the past, we'll just say month, because it's been a while. I've been all over the place, from summits for work to normal route stuff. I drove up to my dad's and spent an extended weekend up there. I came home. I went back on the road. I've had doctor's appointments. I've had dentist appointments. I've been stressed. I've been sick from stress. I have been everything in between, happy, sad. And this weekend, I finally was able to go out to Pleasure House Point and walk around, although I didn't feel well and I was dragging ass. And I've also gotten all my day job stuff done and caught up on a lot of stuff and, and I'm ahead of the game. In fact, I'm done for today for this week. I'm going on the road tomorrow because I don't go out on the first day or the last day of the month. So that's why I normally would have gone out yesterday and I'd be back today, but now I'm going out tomorrow and I won't be back till Thursday. Ha! Huh. I'm going to get gas right now so that I don't have to get it in the morning when I leave. And uh, yeah, everything's a whirlwind. I have, again, shot all of that that I just recapped you in like a minute and everything in between. I have redone setups. I have pulled the A7 IV back into the rotation and then immediately felt sick to my stomach and wanted to sell it and put it back and erased everything and blah, 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 blah. So this time I'm using my A7 R5, which I'm not getting rid of. And uh, I've got the 20 millimeter F1.8 and I've got the Freewell uh, ND filter on it, variable ND filter. And I have it on this mount that I put up here on the mount that's across my dash. A problem that I ran into is that I also ended up having to go to Toyota this weekend to have my brakes done. I finally was able to get that done. So I got front and rear brakes installed, all the flushes and all that shit that they wanted to do for the brakes. And I also got my normal maintenance done and I got my state inspection done. Now the problem was is that they wanted to fail me on the state inspection because of the mounting here and because of the lights that I have installed in my grill on the front of the vehicle. Now, I have had this shit installed the lights was one of the first things I did when I bought this vehicle. So they've been in there since 2019. I've had a few state inspections since then. I've also had something on this dashboard the entire time and no one has ever questioned it or failed me or anything. So I was pretty pissed about it. And I talked to my advisor and he ended up talking to the inspector and got him to pass me anyways. But that really annoys the shit out of me. There's no consistency. It's who you get, what they feel like that day. And like, fuck you. Like, do what you're supposed to do, but everybody needs to do it that way and it needs to be consistent. So that was annoying. I'm not taking any of this shit out. So here I am now, um, like out of my mind as usual, frantic, trying to get shit done. I've been cooped up all day doing the day job stuff and, and also paying my bills for the month. And uh, I needed to get the frick out of the house. So we're getting gas and then I'm going to three ships and then I'm gonna come home and my wife works late tonight. So I'm, I don't know, I might go for a walk or do some photography or just sit there like a bump on a log, who knows? So, all right, I need to get gas before uh, everybody has a hissy fit that I'm just sitting here. Um, so we'll be right back. So yeah, life has been a whirlwind for the past month, but isn't it always? I'm, I'm kind of at a point where I'm starting to recognize this pattern. And that's one step forward, kicked in the balls and sent five steps back. So that's why I'm always stressed. And I realize that, that a lot of this is self-caused, but it's no less annoying and frustrating. So, I, you know, I've been talking about my flow. My flow, I wanna get my flow getting, you know, to, to, to go forward and up instead of like get kicked in the balls and sent back. Shit ain't working out that way. And while that's not okay, and it is okay, cause it's just life, uh, I have been dealing with it one small section at a time. Despite the fact that I had a perfect flow going on on the old team, I wasn't making any money. Um, you know, I mean, not enough. I was making my salary and I was getting shit for commissions. So I knew that I needed to make a change. Hence the new position. Now I have the potential to make more money. 
which will then help me with the financial bullshit and, and move me forward and up, or at least not leave me stagnant and dropping further behind. I didn't realize it was going to be as difficult of a transition as it was. I figured I've been doing this for, for seven years, six and a half, seven years on the same team. How bad could it be? Okay, so it's taken me a lot longer to get comfortable in this position to a point that, that when I first took this job almost nine years ago, they said, there's a lot to learn. It's gonna take you minimum of nine months to like a year and a half before you even begin to feel comfortable with doing this job. And of course, you know, we're all full of our own egos and it's like, hey, it ain't gonna take me that long. I, I can figure this shit out. I know, I know how to do this. Yeah, okay, so it did take about uh, almost a year and a half to get comfortable in that position. And I say almost a year and a half because I didn't last for a year and a half before I realized that I needed to not be on that initial team. So I switched. Then I got on the, the, the new team and then that was perfect. And, and, and I learned how to do that and I excelled at it and I stayed with it for six and a half years. And then I moved to this job. Now this job, it was like starting all over again. And I went right back to the nine months to a year and a half. Um, I'm just now, and I, what, I started this October-ish. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna call it November because I was doing both jobs. So November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. And now we're coming into August, 10 months. So I've had my nine months before I started to feel like I kind of know what I'm doing. And that, that happened over this ninth month where I had an epiphany in a, in a moment of, of silent rage and stress where a, a switch got flipped and it all made sense and I was able to change the way that I was doing stuff and it all started to fall into place. So now I feel like I've got a flow going and that's helping to ease my mind a tad, but I still have to pay for past mistakes, which I am doing and that's working its way along. Okay, so yeah. Workflow is important for me because if I'm not flowing at work, then everything else turns to shit. So work is flowing. So now we need to work on the rest of the stuff. So that means now that I'm back and I don't have any weird freaking summits to go to, I'm not going to my dad's anytime soon. Uh, I can get a little bit more flow going again uh, of a little bit of regularity of schedule. And I know I'm going to be around other than the, you know, the couple of days a week I'm on the road. So now I can start posting all of that gear for sale. And that's the only reason that I haven't, but there's no point in me putting it up for sale literally days before I knew I was going to be gone for a week and a half, two weeks and, you know, and then deal with the, with all the rigmarole of that. So now I'm back. So that means that this week or this weekend, I will be spending that time taking the pictures and starting to post all that gear. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.